And now, if you're searching for some tasty appetizers to serve at your baby shower, look no further, because joining us is Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of Great Grapes Catering. Kathleen. Hello, <laughs> my darlings. How are you? Look great. at you. You're looking good. Ready to pop, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not ready to pop. Uh, I'm distracted, I have to be honest, because <laughs> it smells really good. What are we making, Kathleen? Well, I know how much you liked my shepherd's pie. Oh, I this love I wasn't the only one. Well, Everyone I know, but, loved I, it. I ate a lot of shepherd's but pie. But I thought I with this and with St. Patty's Day coming up, I thought I'd do a little twist on it. Now, of course, since you're having a little baby boy. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. I, I've started my ground um, <laughs> mixture of uh, ground beef and a little bit of veal, and um, it's really kind of delicious, with a mirepoix, <laughs> which is shallots, uh, carrots and celery for me today and what I brought with me to make it so that it's delicious and amazing is could you get that for me? Yes, yeah, well, well, well. I think you Did might Did you bring this for me or for the... It's going to be... Oh, okay. There's no celebration should, without should, an explosion. Should, Kathleen, I have to ask you, when you yes. saute this up, do you add the vegetables in the pan first and then add the meat well, after? How do you get it all In this specific together? instance, because the meat is so lean, I actually mess, do the Kathleen. meat and then add the add it in so that it absorbs all the flavors. Only okay. because I'm going to add my Guinness now if he ever comes back. I'm trying to. <laughs> you got me a, a shaking up a, Guinness over here. It. I'm going to put and a little bit of a tomato paste in. You're doing great. Am I going to pour this in? Well, half of it you pour in, and the other half you, if your if your chef this is very happy, first, please. You uh, help yourself. All right. It. So pretty much, Kelly, you put the meat and then Go you add it. them in for the flavor. After. Yeah, okay. and we just make a nice sauce. That's stuff. That's good. Okay. Thank you very much. A little okay. bit more. Now I put a little tomato paste. Some people put. Um, you could put ketchup in. Some people have traditional, you know, what they like. Um, you could put oh, a little beef broth in mm -hmm. if you don't care for a Guinness. But, you know, I'm an Irish girl. How can, can you I not say? care the for a Guinness? The flavor stays with alcohol cooks right off. Oh, oh yeah. And Actually, it's got a really, really wonderful flavor. Also, I put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in. Oh, good and stuff. And I also put a little bit of, guess what? Dijon, Dijon mustard. mustard. <laughs> you need to be a spokesperson I for mustard. Knew it. I totally agree. I used Dijon mustard the other day and I said, Kathleen, if you were here, you'd be so proud. I am proud. Just knowing <laughs> that you shared that with me. Now, this is an easy one. You could do this with your kids. You could do this for a party. You could do it in smaller containers. Uh, honestly, it's all cute and little today, so <laughs> we're all... Uh, I think it's, it's something people don't expect when you when you go to a party and you think appetizers. It's like you know chicken on a stick or mm -hmm. some veggies and dip. You don't think uh, I get a miniature little shepherd's pie for myself. Mm -hmm. That's know. such Isn't a that surprise. So you know what else I like about it? I have a problem with portion control, <laughs> and this me, this ensures that I won't eat way Especially too much when it shepherd's tastes pie. Good. Exactly. Mm, doesn't that smell good? It smells mm. so good. So yes. we're gonna put the shepherd's pie in the bottom, obviously, and uh, I don't know, maybe people. Now my daughter will not eat peas and carrots in her shepherd's pie, so we are a pure corn family. All right. Okay, so that's what we put Whatever on top folks, of that. Your boat, Michaela. Yep, Mickey D. <laughs> you're here with me. Ashley, how jealous are you? Are you excited to have a drink after this is all, uh, after you have your baby? Yeah, of course. You I know, you it's, are. I, I definitely am. You know, it's, it's been a long nine months, of course, so I think everyone's kind of ready for that. Oh, yeah. That glass of wine. So now Top we have another layer. Mashed potato. A little mashed potato. <laughs> and then we, uh, this is my personal favorite. A little oh, of bit course. of cheese, and then you make them all, and you put them all on your tray. Oh. And it's all already cooked, so it takes no time at all in the oven. 350 for like 10 minutes right. till it starts to bubble. Huh. Now another twist on this is uh, that's our shepherd's pie starter. Okay. Now I wanted to show you. Now my partner Tammy Russell, great gal, did a baby shower recently, and one of my favorite things I saw that she did was, again, a cool little container. Mm -hmm. Twist on crudite. Take your, I made homemade blue cheese, right? I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh, Crudite is a fancy word that for I don't Cut think up vegetables no. that you dip in something. Seriously? A veggie platter. Uh, a that's a, it's a fancy veggie platter. I'm never okay. saying veggie platter again. I'm no. always gonna say, Mom, can you make a crudite for my party? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the deal. You put whatever your favorite dressing or dip. Now you could use hummus, you could use whatever you like. It's, mm -hmm. um, personally, I like the blue cheese because it's individual. You know how some people don't like to go up and do the double dip thing? Well, you know, like, Not oh, and, and they get freaked out. They go, like, am I supposed to put it on a plate? I don't know. Well, this, you put your, all your veggies. Oh, so they're already in. Dipped. Could I have a, a little yeah. in there? And then, and then you display them on your. Oh, that looks on good. On your, um, you know, and so here That's you go. So you, like, walk cute. around with your little. And you're so and sophisticated. You're and you totally dip. Too. You know, I so know because I hate when it's on a plate and you're trying to scoop and exactly. Kathleen, so now you have your own vehicle. All right, so we're gonna eat. We'll be back with you. Oh we'll yeah. Send us up. Thanks so much, Kathleen. You bet. Oh, it's I'm very crunchy nibble. and good for you. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Welcome back to a baby shower bonanza. We're back in the kitchen with Kathleen Delaney, owner of Great Grapes Catering, to finish up these delicious baby tizers. Yummy. Well, I'm excited because it, you can do almost anything for your, whatever you like, you could put into your own container. Mm -hmm. The key thing is that, you know, the mason jars are really popular now. So any kind of little jar that you have, or a little, like, uh, demi a little espresso cup, mm -hmm. it would work great for your, for your party. And they don't have to match. Well, it's and kind you of can cool. always find stuff like this at a yard sale or at a thrift shop. They, I, Absolutely. I, I think every thrift shop that I've ever been to has a glass that looks just like this. They True. are really cute when they don't match. And you know, whenever I think of putting together appetizers for a party or something, mm -hmm. I always think of the, the old standbys, you know, the cheese and crackers and right. chips and dip. It's good to Shepherd's really think pie. of a hearty <laughs> appetizer like this. Well, so, some people come to your parties and they don't know what if they're going to be served a meal you know you say you say appetizers but there's heavy appetizers and that's then true. there's you know I mean or, you know you might get cake but or cake pops but that's you don't know if you're gonna really have your you and know, then you're fill up on chips exactly you don't know, you know, you know the wrong thing. situation is you go to something and you think you're gonna get fed so you don't eat a big lunch and then you go somewhere yeah. and there's chips and dip well you know if oh. I'm there you're gonna get fed well <laughs> then you might need more baby showers at your house <laughs> I Have hope you didn't baby. recently go to a party where there's just chips and dips. No, Sorry. Gonna, no one who's watching satisfied. would know that. <laughs> he was really happy about that. Last party. <laughs> okay, so we're you're doing filling these all up with, yep. the, with the meat with mixture. The, with the meat mixture. And again, you could do this with turkey. You could do this with, um, you know, leftover a, a roast chicken or something. Mm -hmm. Just to make it so that it's your own. You could do it buffalo chicken. You could really have a blast with this. And, and you, you, don't, you put corn in your family, but you could put peas and carrots. Exactly. Well, I, I, if I made it fancy schmancy, I would have red pepper, corn. I, you know, I'd have the oh. whole mixture and make it and get some you know, color in there. It down yeah but again you can use smashed potatoes you could just take a potato you, it doesn't matter whatever you had left over like if you had leftover mash or you, and, and just layer it in and it's delicious it's well that's just, kind of what shepherd's pie is too it's, mm -hmm. it's a mix of whatever you've got in your closet absolutely your closet not, not necessarily with your all closet. your clothes i was gonna go with pantry <laughs> Throw a it's tie a very in there. emotional day for me. Okay? <laughs> very emotional okay. day. So I'm gonna miss her. How I know. do you make your mashed potatoes? Okay, key on my mashed potatoes: Yukon Gold mashed. Oh, it does uh, matter the potatoes. Oh, I what like color Yukon Gold. They're the yellow. They're the really okay. gold-colored ones. I like the. You, you know, if you don't have time, don't worry about skinning them. But boil them, cut them all in about the same, you know, uh, size. Really heavy salted water. That's gonna that's because they're little sponges. They just absorb all that, which is mm. wonderful. And then instead of using milk, I use butter and chicken stock, and I mash it. And they're the mm. best mashed potatoes out there. No milk. All right. I don't. I don't really because it it doesn't work. I don't for love me. my mashed potatoes. You I don't? like my mom's. I don't like mine. Okay. But I'm gonna try that. I wonder what your mom does differently. And it's uh, good. It keeps the caloric the, the calories down. Blender. Oh, the immersion blender. Ooh. That's a top I ten think. kitchen gadget for me. She's here. I'll just ask her. Is that's it the immersion true. blender? Yeah, we should shout her out. Yeah. Ashley's mother is here. She's a lovely lady. <laughs> she is a lovely lady. She's ready. She's got a she bag packed, ready to go. Right? Yeah, yeah, the go. Like, don't worry, just my, in case. My, my dream is for, and not dream necessarily, I, I want her to have her baby at about 11.45 today. <laughs> that's that's about dream. about 15 minutes, I want this all to start. My bag's been packed for about a month. I've been ready. Well, I was really upset you didn't have the baby on my birthday, which was the fifth. I'm sorry, so that Kathleen. Well, I know. <laughs> He'll we'll talk later, Ashley. <laughs> Very disappointed. So now you're in you. adding the corn to I it. I am doing the layers. We have to have something to eat, right? Oh yeah. Come on now. Well, I didn't I eat know, breakfast. I'm Much like a, a party that I recently went to. Yeah, I didn't eat. I didn't <laughs> you eat went to a breakfast this. party. Yeah. Uh, with and then, chips right? and dip. I get squeezed. What kind of party was I get this? They should have called Kathleen. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Oh my goodness. All righty. Here you go. Let's just put some. We don't have fun. You guys got to 